Hello everyone, it's me, Tani Nolenberger, your favorite wedding planner, and today we're actually getting into the holiday spirit. I'm gonna show you how to make the perfect batch of hot cocoa and mold spice wine. If you are new to the channel, I bring you videos every Tuesday, so make sure you like this video or hit that subscribe button, and let's dive in. Hello everyone, welcome to the Higher Grounds Testing Kitchen. It's Tani and Chef Tyler, Chef Frankie in the background. Today we're gonna to be showing you how to make the perfect cup of hot cocoa with the Higher Grounds hot cocoa cone that you'll find in your jingle boxes. First, you're gonna measure out two cups of milk. Next, make sure you simmer the milk on low. Next, take your hot cocoa cone of mix and pour it into the milk and stir. Warm it till it's hot and serve when you're ready. Make sure to grab your favorite coffee mug. Top with whipped cream. Add a little cinnamon. Chef Frankie approves. Cheers! Mmm. Mm. It's really good. Thanks for watching. Howdy hey, welcome back to the Higher Grounds Taste Testing Kitchen. So today we're gonna to be showing you how to make mold spice wine or mold spice cider from the recipe in the mold spice bags that you're gonna find in your jingle box. First things first, you're going to wanna take a bottle of red wine if you are going to choose wine. If not wine, you're gonna actually do unpasteurized apple cider. Um, for in this case though, I am using this very festive bottle called Suited. It is a red blend from one of my favorite wineries up in the little town of Solving, which is north of Santa Barbara, and it is called Sort This Out Cellars. Their bottles are super, super cute. They have a bunch of pinup girls on them. This is one of my favorite wineries to go to uh, when I'm in town. And again, this bottle just happens to be super festive to uh, make this batch of mold spice wine. Eight ounces of water four ounces of apple juice, a half a cup of brown sugar, add your wine, your higher grounds mulling spice kit. In our mold spice bag, we're gonna have cinnamon, orange peel, allspice, star of anise, and Madagascar whole cloves. Don't forget to remove the tag. <laughs> and stir it up and let simmer for about an hour. Now is the true taste test. It just, it's so aromatic. It's, it smells like the spices of Christmas and the seasons. Now for the true test though. Mmm. It's so flavorful and it just kind of makes you feel warm and fuzzy inside. So cheers, you guys. I hope you liked our mold spice wine recipe. You could catch it in our jingle box, which is on sale now. And we will see you next time. As always, stay creative and be legendary.